There's nobody that like looks alike or anything, but the bottom line is people need the same things. And people don't need seven Mercedes Benz. <laughs> people like me need their houses to be accessible, and I can't get that if there's people getting seven Mercedes Benz. <laughs> And I'm 14, and I realize this, and these people are in their 30s and 40s and 50s, and they still can't seem to get it through their heads. they have something that they want to express to the marchers and we pass it along to you guys along the street we'd be using the people mic approach and a couple of things that the general assembly this morning talked about and we talked with the police about is especially at the very beginning of the march they're asking if we can stay on the sidewalks and obey the traffic signs and the signals as far as walk and don't walk and they're pretty willing to be fluid as we get going. If we need to merge a little bit into the street, they're probably gonna be okay with that. No guarantees, but that was kind of the impression. And they're also willing to, with the size of the group as it grows to be fluid about where we are and how we're doing traffic and all traffic lights and all that. There are gonna be some bike cops along with us kind of to manage traffic for us as they need to. And they're being pretty flexible right now, so. Awesome right now. Yeah. 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 So if you see anything or need us, just find somebody with a yellow armband.
That's that's the impression they've given us. Okay, because we're gonna go with the freedom. <laughs> <laughs> See the new, you see the new thing again? It's so much better than putting it in my bag. We are all, we are autonomous individuals. Autonomous individuals. We make our own decisions. We make our own decisions. That's all. Woo! 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 Woo!
I, I don't need, I can't even fathom what you guys represent. Okay? You guys represent the gut. You guys represent the people, not the government. Who needs a Who needs a government when you all have all these people? Who needs it? We are the government. There you go. You, you got, we are the government. But at the same point in time, Jesus came down here to help us out. Hey, show some respect. Yeah. You know what? I love every one of y'all the same. Okay. I'm coming out here. I'm marching with you guys. I'll be going back up to battle down to do another one. If you guys want to come up to battle down, let me know. Because I'm going to be starting one up there as soon as I get back. Hey, everyone, I'm from, uh, I'm from Portland, Oregon, a metropolitan area. In this area, I grew up here. I'm from the Northwest. Uh, I came from a very dysfunctional family. I was a homeless kid, a street kid on the streets. I know what it means to struggle. And we're in this together, I just have to say that. So yeah, thank you. What's up, Gabe from Flip, number 156. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Later on. <laughs> so, um, one, one thing I want to say is, uh, and this is kind of personal, and I, and I don't, if the family's out here right now, I, I don't want them to feel like I'm like trying to take over their 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 uh, their suffering or something as a political cause because I'm not. But what I am, I'm, before I say that, I was watching the news down here uh, when I was waiting for my cup of coffee, and there was some political schmuck talking head on there, talking about our movement, and he was saying, well, why don't they have, uh, you know, uh, a platform outlined, you know, that way we can attack it. Uh, why don't they go to this place or that place instead of where they're at, that way we can uh, hide them, you know? And, <laughs> and he was talking about we're talking about different regulations and this and that. And I'll tell you why I'm out here. Because the working class in this country have been being screwed, not for the last eight years, but for the last 60, 70, 80, since yeah. the beginning of this country. Yeah. So damn right, I'm ready for some class work. Yeah. There's a brother, a brother construction worker laid off for a long time. Maybe you probably all heard about this on the news. Uh, he was laid off for a long time, and he finally got a job. So he went back to work and he worked hard. Worked his ass off. A week later, he got laid off again. Sitting on the freeway in the 84, he couldn't, uh, he couldn't bear the thought of going back to his family and telling them that he lost his job. So he got out of his car and he jumped. That's capitalism, folks. That's capitalism. Yeah. And it's sad and it's tragic and it needs to go. It ain't about regulations on Wall Street. It ain't about this one or that one or this politician or that politician or a blue tie or a red tie. It's about fucking capitalism. And it needs to go. First, before my message, I've been asked to ask you folks to uh, please enjoy the free veggie burritos in this corner. I'm told to tell you that. Free burritos. The reason I'm here today, and I've already been up here once, but something occurred to me in listening to all of the speakers, especially the last speaker, which talked about the history of what's going on in this country. I want to tell you something, that what we are a part of today is not a revolution. The revolution started in 1963 and continues until this day. The revolution, the revolution is almost nearly won by the 1%. They're almost winning this revolution. What, what we are part of is a counter revolution. Now, as soon as we're going to fight this counter-revolution, thank God there are so many people here today of all stripes, colors. We're all part of this. We're all part of taking back our country. <laughs> A couple of years ago, I had to retire. I ran my own business. I worked very hard for 40 years. I was forced out of my business, having to sell it for nearly nothing because 
my industry have been exported overseas. But thank goodness I had a savings account, investment account that could supposedly carry me through my retirement years, but guess what? I only have about 33% of all my 40 year savings left over thanks to our friends on Wall Street. So let's give it all all in the next days to come. Let's take this counter revolution and shove it back at them. Yeah! I think for, uh, for what my fellow worker Gabe over there said about what capitalism is. Um, and for a bunch of us that have been talking over the last couple of days, we have some serious concerns about what it means to be a group of working class people joining a march with the establishments of the police and the city. We do not feel that they have our interests in common. A brief analysis of history will show that. So we are proposing for folks that would like to continue that conversation of what the implications are to people in oppressed communities and oppressed persons, when they see us marching side by side with the police, that means they are not going to come down here. So if folks would like to join us at O'Brien Square, we plan on staying there to have this conversation in greater length, instead of going out and marching with the police and with the city's representatives. So please come with us, we'd love to talk with you all there. Hi, my name is David, I'm an engineer in training, and I've observed that there are a lot of diverse grievances and views in this movement, and some of the common threads that I've seen is people are for government accountability, and a lot of people have specific grievances in terms of our economic situation. Either people can't find jobs, or have lost their job, or just struggling to make ends meet. And what I think is very important is for everyone to understand the root causes of our economic problems. Because if we do not understand the root causes of our economic problems, we can't hope to solve them. So since I'm an engineer, I, I'm, I'm kind of a numbers guy, and I'd like to share with you a few numbers that I, I found on usdebtclock.org that you can all check yourself, and that will put our economic problems in perspective. The current U.S. national debt is 14 trillion. That's 14 with nine zeros after it. The U.S. gross domestic gross domestic product. That's how much money our our country generates. Is 15 trillion dollars. But in addition to our debt. We also have $115 trillion in unfunded U.S. liabilities. What that means is that we have $115 trillion that the American people are on the hook for. It's, down, it's in the pipeline. This includes $15 trillion for Social Security, plus $20 trillion for prescription drug liability, plus $80 trillion for Medicare liability. Tax the rich! I'll get to that. The, the, liability, the liability per taxpayer is $1 million. The U.S. population is 312 billion people. That, that's not what usdebtclock.org said. Um, the U.S. income taxpayers was 112 billion, according to usdebtclock.org. So what I want to point out is that if we tax everyone in our country at 100 percent, it would take nine years to pay off the current debt and unfunded liabilities. The conclusion I come to with that is that we don't have a a problem of taxing enough. It takes nine years to have 100% taxes on everyone to pay back our debt. Our problem is too much spending. We need to understand that. Thank you.